your gym hours to work. Okay. A little bit of time. Here I am. Got it? About to shoot my senior exit project. Okay, cool. Thanks. As you can see, a film student in their natural habitat. Look at him work. Look at him work. Whatever I manage to produce in this class, whether it's good or bad, will be the evidence of my ability as a filmmaker. Right about now, you can, you can smell dreams dying. <laughs> to make this film possible, everything needs to go exactly as planned. Nothing is allowed to go wrong. I guess I should say action. Uh, action? Uh, okay. All right, so I know it won't be easy. One, two, three, four. It's really hard to make a zero budget film while being a student. There are going to be frustrations. A lot of frustrations. But I really needed this project to prove to myself that I didn't just waste my last four years away. I needed this film to be good. This documentary is gonna suck! Everything started out good. I decided on a story and started writing right away. The title of my film is Sunrise on the Top of the World. Top of the world. Is this place on campus where you can see Santa Cruz and Monterey Bay in its entirety? The plot follows two friends wandering around the campus of UCSC the night before graduation. They meander in through the empty campus all night and talk about their past four years. And eventually end up at top of the world before sunrise. I wanted the plot of this film to be driven mostly by dialogue. The whole film is supposed to be just them talking about the past, the present, and the future of their lives. It's actually really rare that I started on the project before it's even a sign instead of waiting until the night before. This could be the beginning of the end of my habit of procrastination. And for the first time in my life, I will be able to stick to a well-paced schedule. Oh, okay, never mind. I was supposed to halfway through filming at this point, but I have barely finished the script. Writing dialogue that is both revealing and realistic is a lot harder than I thought. Oh my god. I haven't really lived in uh, Dude, that Dude, right, shut the me. fuck up and let's go. Exactly. You, you're cringing too much. Right. Everything I wrote sounds like Oscar winning screenwriting when I first wrote it. But when I actually sit down and reread everything with my actors, it was unbelievably cringe. The whole script sounds so awkward and preachy. Hmm. So what's your pur what do you think the purpose of life is? Like not just your life, what's the purpose of life? Pro probably ego waffles. Oh, we can talk about art not you happy because not you're not only happy because you you feel like I'm not so good. And then and then there's like the curve, you follow the curve going down. But nobody's bound to be happy. You suffer the things you have. You suffer the things you don't. Okay. Real life conversations sound genuine, but most of the stuff people say don't have a point. Movie dialogue, especially the good ones, has to both sound like something people would say in real life and also have a point to further the plot. Stuff that you talk about is a lot like this old script that I was working on. Mm -hmm. right? Oh, the one with, uh, with the girl? Yeah, the one with the girl. And uh, to an extent, it's a very thin line between sounding pretentious and sounding curious. And you want to, I feel like, find that boundary between having that youth uh, excitement versus the contrast of like very sad pessimism. Like, mm -hmm. You kind of need that balance. I feel like I wanted to write something above my level, but because it was above my level, I can't write it. Why not? C5, take two. I'm pretty behind at this point, so I decided to check up on a couple friends' film set. Action, action. To see how they are doing on theirs. Yo, man, I'm talking. They're pretty far into their films already, but their whole filming process isn't going very smooth yeah. either. Honestly, like, I've never wanted to be fired more than ever in my fucking life. <laughs> like, I'm not fucking you okay with math. You want to fire you right now? Yes. Okay. Go find a new fucking actor. I can't fucking do this. Are you acting right now? Or? Are you acting? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I made all my actors <laughs> all the time. It's, people, when they said that they didn't want to, I was like, cool, next, good talking to you. I casted somebody else. I cast, like, literally, I had to constantly recast my characters. Con like, either that or a time conflict. And I was like, mm, I can't do that. You I know, also went like, to a friend's house to help him film his band practice. His band has a song called The Unknown, which I was supposed to use in my film because I thought the theme of this song 
will fit right into my film. Everybody dies. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Um, I don't know. It, it's something that everybody has in common is that, you know, we're all going to go someday. And, like, it's also... It's, I always... I think about that a lot. And I kind of... It's not a bad thing, though. I kind of think about it in a way like, oh, yeah. Like, take advantage of what you have around you. You know, because it's only temporary. You know? Like, love the people that you love. Mm. And... Yeah. At this point, I just want my film to exist. Did I even finish the script? Okay, today we're gonna show you how to not direct. First of all, you gotta write the script first. Uh, first of all, you gotta know what the fuck you're writing. <laughs> That's important. We, we don't have any script and, uh, and spelling. <laughs> so the script, the title of this is Spell 101, Spelling 101, English. With the amount of time we have left, we can only realistically shoot the last scene. It's a sunrise scene where the two characters are supposed to have a moment of realization of what graduation and leaving Santa Cruz means. Do you want to run through the scene? Just read it through her, or you want to just... I kind of know what the idea is. You want to explain to me again, us? It's about our lives in Santa Cruz. Everything we film is about our lives in Santa Cruz. And this four years is the most confusing years of our lives right here in Santa Cruz where everything happens, where all these experiences happen, where we look back and we remember it as a, as a productive time. Okay. Yeah. Right. So. Of course nothing went the way it's planned. Thing worked. Oh my god. Shit's go off road, bro. The dialogue was still shit. Uh, you have to be very, uh, very careful. Okay. But I have accepted my fate and embraced the cringe. <laughs> nice, I like that the mic is all showing this shit. Is, uh, is, it? is it showing hella? I just spent all night editing. It's already dawn. It's another morning. And I guess I need a break. It's so quiet. Just me here. Feels like orientation week again. I'm class of 2018, and it is already 2018. Sunrise on the top of the world is supposed to be a tribute to these past four years in Santa Cruz. And it's not the first time I tried to do something like this. Two years ago, my friend and I tried to do a day in a life type of video. I showcased what life is like in Santa Cruz. We gotta do that with a camera inside. Let's see again, let's see again. I, wait, this is, okay, okay. But the same thing happens. We keep planning and planning. The more we plan, the harder it gets. Eventually, we just stop. Life is just too chaotic and complex for us to shove it in a five minute video. <laughs> We are beings who inhabit in chaos. The only way we survive as long as we did is to grab hold of whatever we can to create order and hide ourselves in it. But order is fragile. Chaos always takes back control. Because I wanted my film to be good, so bad, that any little hiccups I encounter along the way just collapse the whole project. I guess trying to be a good filmmaker is my way of constructing an order. I was so blinded by this illusion of order that I refused to see the chaos lurking by. When things go wrong, I'm thrown off balance right away and fall into a place where I don't know who I am. Maybe I'll get better at filmmaking in the future, or maybe this is as far as I can go. But whatever happens, I guess I shouldn't look at what I've done as evidence of my failure. When I look at my work film in the future, I will remember the laughter, the interactions, the frustration, the chaos, and the order. I'll remember the people, and how we spend the most chaotic years of our lives together in this place called Santa Cruz. The day's about to start. This is not goodbye. I'm standing on the top of the world. Never find out why. Below me is a sea of chaos. Someday you will die.